Hey, this is Mike. I'm down at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Ronald Beach, South Carolina. And I'm just checking out this 2015 Chevy Equinox uh, 1LT in white. And uh, this is kind of a like a uh, like a small crossover type SUV that has a lot of a lot of room on the inside and very comfortable uh, vehicle. It's good for long trips. That's what a lot of people say. I've heard a lot of reviews on this vehicle as far as the comfort on the inside, and um, a lot, that's what people. Um, that's basically what people say is 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 a very comfortable, a smaller SUV. You see, it has a very good height to it, um, and the doors are really big. Now this one has the Michelin tires with you know 18 inch wheels and they are a chrome clad wheel there. It's got the luggage racks on top. Here's the inside of the passenger door. Now this has black black interior, but it has like a red stitching into certain places. And it's got a little red insert there in that pocket. Kind of a small, uh, shallow, thin pocket there at the bottom. And the seats have this really neat uh, cloth perforation here with like white underneath the black. And when I opened up the door, I was kind of, I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's got a unique look to it. And it's probably, um, you know, probably pretty durable as far as, you know, wearing out because... I don't know it just feels like a very durable fabric a real strong tough fabric there now so it'll kind of help you out with like you know maybe the sun shines on it and it keeps it from getting hot didn't just thought about that this one has a rubber slush mats in it pocket there glove compartment is pretty good size Sorry about the camera angles. I'm using a different uh, stabilizer today because I, I left my other one. Um, so I just kind of kind of a makeshift stabilizer here. I'll show you in the reflection. It's just a, a monopod with a um, so I can get some lateral control there with the camera. But sometimes the camera angles don't really work out all good. Now it's got the privacy glass in the back as you can see. Here's the inside of the back door. And the back seats, um, basically that seat, this front seat, I put basically at a fairly medium distance from the front. So you can see it has a decent amount of leg room here. But the seats are huge. The headroom is amazing. And um, this other seat, on the other hand, I put all the way back, which you've got to be like eight feet tall for that. But you can see it's kind of limited on space there for the rear passenger. But, I mean, the chances of somebody being that tall, pretty slim. You can see it goes all the way past the door and everything. So it's uh, not very practical for the front driver and not very practical for the back. All right, this uh, this folds down, revealing a, some cup holders and armrests. This is where you put your fuel in. It is on the passenger side. Some people prefer it to be on the driver's side, but as long as you know which side it is, you, you're a lot better off there. All right, you got your Equinox badge back here does have a backup camera privacy glass is very dark so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and look at all that room in the back massive amount of storage space and those seats fold down so I mean you can seriously put some stuff back here you do have a 12 volt power supply a storage pocket there a subwoofer back here you got some tie downs, a pocket there, and underneath this is your spare tire, which is a compact spare tire, and your tools, and maybe a little bit of storage space around it. Not much at all. 
and this one has a um, I'm not sure if the 15 is if it's available or not a power lift gate it probably is this one's just you know use your hands to open it and close it which it's easy to open and close so it's not a big deal here's the window sticker if you can see it with a reflection This one has a four cylinder. And um but the thing is about these cars, the four cylinders are, you know, it gives you good gas mileage, 32 miles per gallon on the highway. But um but I mean they are pretty strong nowadays. The four cylinder is no joke. Heated side mirrors with your chrome, chrome handles, and it's got that black plastic strip across the bottom. I guess to and a little mud flap back there and in the front I guess that's to kind of help with uh, you know dirt slinging on on the side of your vehicle and just kind of keeping it because a lot of the dirt is you know that you normal driving is right there at the very bottom so that kind of helps uh, hide that I guess you can say so here's the inside of the driver's door and it says you know same got the uh, the red stitching the red bottom there pockets um, there at the bottom very shallow there though. I mean, it's uh, you do have a bottle holder, but right here I mean you can put small stuff, but You know a lot of a lot of cars have a little bit deeper pocket than that speakers here power windows um, I'm just gonna turn it on so we can check to see if they are one touch or not So we've got the back door let's see Yep, it's just a one-touch deal. I just pushed it one time. Now pulling, going back up, I have to hold it. On the front, I have to hold it up. But going down is, is a one-touch. Now I'm noticing this glass. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a, an acoustic glass, I believe it's called. Um, where it's a... Uh, let's see if I can get the focus. I know this camera can focus up close. But anyway, it's got two pieces of glass, and then there's a center. It's like sandwiched together to to avoid noise and stuff like that, and maybe a safety feature as well. It does have a power seat with lumbar support, and I'm really, I really, really like these uh, cloth seats. They really stand out, and they look, I mean, they just look cool. All right, I'm all the way back here with the, uh, I may not be able to tell on the camera, but um, this is way back. I can't even reach the controls here. So just to give you an idea of how much uh, leg room or, or arm room, whatever you want to call it, that this vehicle has, I'm going back up now. So that way the back passenger can have more room if they were to be back there. So here's your gauges. And you, you have a center menu system here. Right now it's set to uh, your speed, which this one you have to use this menu button here to um, to adjust this. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through and just kind of show you what it's got on it. So I just scrolled through that particular one. Um, you can push menu go into options and then you can scroll through that gives you specifics on the tire pressure and um, oil life not a huge uh, amount of options there but it, you know it gives you some information that you need now the, the, here's the steering wheel it is um, leather wrapped steering wheel with black stitching uh, black leather and uh, your volume button is here you can go through your presets um, with this button and pushing it change the uh, like AM, FM, XM, stuff like that. There's your cruise control on that side. It does have um, you know automatic headlights there. And your dimmer switch is, let me open up the door, they'll show you that. It's down here. Where is it at? Right there kind of hidden if you don't really like know right where it is I guess if you were to tilt the steering wheel you can see it there 
but it is kind of it wasn't immediately obvious to me when I first got in the car windshield wipers are there has real long vents here that's kind of like a Equinox trademark there I guess you can say and this one you know has a little little hood here over the touch screen so you can avoid glares from the Sun which we don't have that problem now because the Sun's behind me which is great but just pushing that home button there takes me to all the icons and um, so right now it's in you know like the radio but I can go in the phone and once I pair a phone um, then I can you know make and receive phone calls and all that stuff as AM FM XM Pandora which runs through your cell phone um, Stitcher smart radio not really familiar with that CD player this one does have a CD player down here and those are kind of phasing out so if you got a bunch of CDs you might want to go ahead and transfer them to some kind of mp3 or digital format um, because eventually you're gonna to have to do it anyway so um, all right all right so let's go next so this is where your USB auxiliary Bluetooth all the different connectivity options this vehicle has um, your USB before I forget and your auxiliary is in this little pocket here and I say little it's huge it's like a well so don't drop anything in the bottom that you, it's important because it's so you know you can barely fit your arm down in there it's so huge and it has a little tray up here for you know quick access stuff all right so we've got a menu uh, weather um, let me hit that just to show you because it's pretty cool um, let's go to let's go to menu and let's go to 5k five day forecast and check out the little animations it has like the sun's shining and the the clouds are flashing with thunder and there's <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be horrible on, in, on Monday so you know hopefully I'll I'll make it through but it's pretty neat that the the difference between sometimes like this car in particular you have this really nice animated color screen and then you've got this um, looks like an 80s screen over here so it's a little bit mismatched but uh but anyways um you can get home movies i guess you can see movie listings fuel now you can hit the fuel button and then you can see um like local gas stations and um you know how far they are away and what the price is now look at the price of gas right here and this is south carolina so they've got some low gas prices and i don't know what the future you know how this in the future you know maybe a good lower but um today that seems like a pretty low price for us right now all right so um you know it has a lot of features in this touch screen you know i can spend a long time on that but i just want to kind of sh you know hit the highlights so you can see what it's all about now you do have a volume here uh, you can change to the stations there you've got your presets here and uh, you hit different source um, your favorites seek through the stations uh, you know make phone calls and stuff there and there's your home button it always takes you back to the your icons and then you have a back button that goes back to the previous screen usually and let's hit the clock this is where you adjust your clock and stuff so down here your climate control you have your fan speed and it gives you an indicator there on the, the screen that's your fan speed this is your temperature which is like on hot and 54 degrees is out it's like 56 degrees outside and I'm a little bit warm so <laughs> I like it cold but um, but you know there's your there's your climate control pretty pretty simple it's been pretty much the same for years you got your pocket there now here's your shifter pretty much a standard shifter uh, you just do that number to put it in reverse and of course um, your backup camera will pop up there this one doesn't have any sensors if it did you would see those pop up here in this little screen and a little 80s car on the screen which is funny but there's your backup camera you know you notice it has a trajectory lines there um, to show you which way you're going you know the approximate width of your vehicle as you back up because it is a wide screen um, 
a wide angle lens. So you can see it goes from the bumper all the way to the sky and it has a really good view for safety, but it's a little bit distorted as far as like say how big, how big your vehicle is um, compared to when you start backing up. So that's what those lines are for. And you know, you can, you can put it in neutral like so, drive. Now you can also put it in manual and you can change to the gears with this plus and minus here if you wanted to. I mean, it's not like a sports car or anything, but you know, if you wanted to do that, you could. And I noticed I'm back here, I forgot to mention, this is a, um, it looks like there's a, yeah, there's a little power supply back in here. 12 volt. Eco mode, um, you can cycle that on and off. You'll have some indicators here, whether it's on or not. And that way it kind of, you're just telling the car that you want to emphasize less on performance and more on gas mileage. Cup holders are here, and I'm seeing a little bit of illumination possibly at nighttime in there, which helps out. Right here is your traction track control. You can turn that off if you want to. Its default is on. Little pocket there, and of course you saw the armrest. And the the big pocket there with the with the little tray. And this thing like goes on forever. I'll be afraid to put stuff in there because it's like you wouldn't be able to fish it out. You have to tie a string to it. All right, so um, let's check out the rearview mirror. OnStar button SOS, and um, you know your your voice recognition buttons are up there. It is a auto dim uh, rear view mirror and up here we've got some lights. This is your whether you want the light to turn on with the door or not. And there's no real tap lights as you, you turn it like that. There's a microphone for your Bluetooth. Now here's your visor. And it has a, uh, a mirror there. You open it up and the lights turn on. You have dual lights, so that's really handy. And then you have the um, same thing on that side. You notice it has pretty good visibility for your blind spots. Seats look cool. All right, let's um, let's take a look under the hood and just see what's under there. See what it looks like. I like the way it alerts you when the hood's open. All right, EcoTech. Four cylinder. All right. If you have any questions, um, my name is Mike, and um, you know, if you, is there anything I missed or anything important on this vehicle, or if you own one of these, if you have any anything to comment on, just leave it in the comment section. I really appreciate it. And if you could, um, you know, share this video with a friend or, or somebody that might be interested, I'd appreciate that too. All right. See you next time.